I came from a very poor family, but I knew that I'm going to be famous right from the time I was five years old. I always told my mom that I'm going to be famous. They couldn't pay for my school fees, so I went to Mostert. I was uh, selling uh, bread on the streets, uh, in the cell road, running, and that's what I was doing. And then after, in the evening, I go to train in the in, in Mostert Sports Council. Everything was going well. I was running 400. And we're supposed to go to the first classic in uh, Bauchi. They said they don't have money. They can't sponsor us. So uh, my, my little brother gave me some transport money. I went to the competition, came in late, and I was the last race. That was 400, uh, the, the 400 meters. And there was nobody in the lane eight. I start crying, I start begging the, uh, Yusuf Ali, please, can you put me in lane eight? He said, no, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not registered. I said, please. I was begging, I was begging, I'm begging. He looked at me and said, wow, I've never seen anybody like you. He said, okay, just go to the lane eight and run. Then I beat everybody. I ran 48. And that's what they, they brought me to, to national camp in classic. Then I start running fast, you know? When this is gonna happen, it's gonna happen. When your day is gonna come, nothing's gonna stop it. This is a story. My best achievement was 99. Uh, when I ran 1984 in the semi-final, being the number one in the world, uh, broken a Nigerian record, and um, uh, that, I think that was my best year. I'm still amazed, you know, still having the, the Nigerian record in the 200 up to today. I'm disappointed that nobody has touched it because we have this talent. I was injured in Sydney. Uh, Nigeria didn't want to, I don't know, I don't know what to say. Uh, it was a kind of disappointment for me, uh, being representing the country and running, and then I was injured in the competition. I talked to the Federation and I told them, look, I needed uh, some money to, to go for operation in Canada. And it would cost me like $15,000, because it was a major operation. Unfortunately, they, they did approve the money, but they don't know where the money was. That was the funny part of it. They said the money was, was approved, somebody signed it, but they didn't know who had the money. So I came back home, you know, you know, and applied for my, uh, for my nationality. So after two months, uh, it was approved. You know? Then I started training. Then I remember I started training. Um, <laughs> it was funny though, I started training. Then I, my first race, I ran 999 with my bad knee. And the Nigeria, the, the Nigeria called me and said uh, they, want, they want me to come back home for them. Whatever the Portuguese are giving me, I said it's not about the money. It's not about the money, it's about respect. You know, that's what I need. Portugal doesn't have money, it's a poor country, but they, they respect me. Somebody like me, there's no 100% in the training. I give 150%. You know, I give it up. It doesn't matter which day. I, I don't care about who run fast. I just train, 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 rest, train, rest. And that's what I was doing. So I remember that it's going to be my last Olympics, and if I don't get it, it's going to be hard. I'm not getting old. so. I told my coach, look, I want to be in top three in the Olympics. I said, it's okay, we can work for it. So I was training, I remember. And so I get into the first round, running 10 or 9 easily. And getting the second round, that was more impressive for me. I ran 993, jogging and then stopping in 15 meters, running my PB, 993, and then semi final, 997, the final, I brought that to 96, which is a European record. And that's uh, for me. That was <laughs> awesome. It was like 985, 986, 987, 989, 990. So it was close, yeah. In Nigeria, we have great trainers. But this also needs help. They pay well, they give a place to stay. I think that with this, together, we reach the world. No problem. It's not a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. It's a motherland. I, I love Nigeria. When I look at the flag, because I represent Nigeria with the flag, with the honor. I don't. I'm a Nigerian with full Nigerian because that wearing Nigerian just means a lot to me. I think the athletes have to have to feel that it means a lot to me. Because when I when I was young, running for Nigeria, I wasn't focused about money. I focused on making name for the country and making name for myself. I'll be honored to serve Nigeria with all my heart. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> That's good to know, and hopefully somebody will come knocking. Very yeah, soon. <laughs> I love that. thank you very much. Yeah, Mark. thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>